everyone good to see you thanks for stopping by much appreciate i'm richie this is six string fun so going to be going back to an older video i did probably three four years ago one of the first ones here on the channel and looking back on it i was wrong i know um rich how can you be wrong right it happens so i had about 95 percent of this song and considering it's a springsteen song and i got it wrong is really um sad in a way but Going over some things just recently, there is, um, if, if you know the song, number one, Waiting on a Sunny Day, Bruce Springsteen, Off the Rise in 2002. The song changes key several times. It goes to, there's a key of C, it goes to D, comes back to C, then it goes to E, and I thought that's where it ended, but it doesn't. There is another key at the very end that goes to where it modulates, so we're going to go over that. It's a fairly straightforward song if you can kind of play some basic chords. And the structure stays, uh, remains the same almost the entire song with the exception of a few variations here and there. But with, even though there's several key changes, you know, I started off on C. Or, at, you know, that particular side, the pinky on there, we don't want that. The structure is basically, it's the one, the six, which is the minor, relative minor, your four, back to the one, to the five and that continues throughout the entire song so let's take a closer look at this one waiting on a sunny day by bruce springsteen we'll go through all of it pretty straightforward pretty simple i guess a couple little things here and there just where it, it doesn't quite stick to that um progression we just went over but you'll see that this is pretty straightforward you've got one bar chord in there i think it's only one maybe two action there's two now because of the change i'm going to be talking about you got a b minor and an f sharp minor okay but it's straightforward all right, so let's take a closer look at this one, Waiting on a Sunny Day, Bruce Springsteen. Here we go. So as I mentioned, it starts off in the key of C. So for this first part of the song, and I say first part, it's going to go intro, first verse, first chorus, second verse, second chorus. I believe that's the entire part of it right there. It'll be a C. So on the fifth string, three, two, open, one, open to the six, which is the A minor, open, two, two, one, open. Here's actually another bar chord, sorry about that. Um, an F, so it's gonna be one, three, three, two, one, one. And then there's a G in here, three, two, open, open, one, one. Sounded very nice like that. But, and then the strumming pattern is gonna stay pretty much the same throughout the entire song. And then we're just going to plop, you know, plop in, pop in, whatever you want to say, the chords. So the first chord is going to be the C. To the A minor. To that F. Back to the C. To the G. So all together. Back to the one, to the G in this case, which is the five. Okay, you get that pattern down. You've got the song basically. Okay, that's going to continue. Like I said, intro, your verse, your chorus, your second verse, your second chorus. Saxophone solo is where we're going to get our first modulation. It goes to D. We're following the same progression though. One. To the six, okay, to the four, got it, to the one, to 
to the five. And after that, it's going to change up a little bit, but let's just play this, this part of it again. Just like the beginning, we're just changing the key. And it's going to be D, so it's going to be open on the fourth string. Open, uh, two, three, two, for your D. The B minor is going to be uh, on the fifth fret, we're starting, uh, fifth string on the second fret. It'll be two, three, three, two, no, I'm sorry, two, <laughs> two, four, four, three, two. Okay? To that G, which is going to be, we already know. To the A, which is going to be on the fifth string. Open, two, 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 open. That's how you run around Sue right there. So, something like that, but I think it's, those are the same chords. Anyway, so we've got that, so let's play that, that piece of the, the, the progression. This key we're only doing one time, one time around, okay? So after that, that A, that, the, the five, we are going to the E. So it's more like a transition piece now where he's gonna try to get back into the key of C. So we go E to the G, and we're holding that G, I think it's for two measures, all together. That's not how it goes. D. B minor. To the G. Here we go. To the D. D, A, E, G. And you can, if you're doing the solo, because you can hold that G as long as you want. All right. Then we're gonna go back into the original key, which is the C. And that's gonna continue on for the you know, good part of the song. The outro is where we're gonna actually have two key changes in addition to what we've just done. We've been to the key of C, we've been to the key of D, now it's off to the land of E. All right, the same progression though. The one, which is your E, open, two, two, one, open, open, a C sharp minor. On the fourth fret, we're starting. Uh, four, six, six, five, four. Okay? And then you've got the A. Open. Two, two, two. Open. Back to the E. To the B. Another bar chord. Yeah, the bar chords everywhere in this song. Two, four, four, four. And then you've got the, the two there. All right. So let's play that progression now. Again, this is coming out of the outro now. Uh, saxophone solo, I believe, is, is being played here. Now, I don't know if that's going to be played once or twice now that I'm thinking about this, that progression, but there will be, I think it's only once, there's going to be another key change on the as we continue to go out, we're going to the land of A on this one. So it's A, open, two, 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 open, and F sharp minor, two, four, four, two, 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 to the D, which we already know, to the B, to the E. All right, it's a little bit different there, but that's how that progression is going to be. So, we do that outro all together with the two different key changes. We'll start on E. Here in the Northeast, we've been waiting on a sunny day. We get an eclipse today, though, so 
Um, that'll be interesting, a few hours. So, but that's the song. I don't know of any other songs where you've got almost four different keys played in the same song, unless, you know, your, your band starts with, or sounds like Rush or Dream Theater. I'm sure there's other ones out there, but I don't know of any other songs that do that, but really straightforward. I mean, hopefully you enjoyed this one. I, I like it a lot. It's a really, it can be very monotonous when you're strumming it, you know, it, it, But it's a catchy one. It's a fun one. Uh, anytime we've played it live in the Springsteen cover band I was in, uh, it went over well. So hopefully this helped you out there. But it's very straightforward. And also it's a good lesson on just learning uh, the intervals within a scale. The one, the, the six, you know, the four, the five, all that good stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you haven't done so, please like, subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications. That, that's a huge help, believe it or not. You might think it's not a big deal, but it is uh, in terms of getting this, this video and other videos out there to other people to see. 